doing this walk is a bit like doing a marathon, dragging a sledge at 4,000 metres above sea level at minus 30. It must be the most difficult, if not most impossible, physical challenge anybody could do, especially blokes of our age and with me having half my bits missing. It's now Tuesday and it's about midday and we are about to set off on our magnificent trip to the South Pole. Uh, we uh, are camped up here but we're on our way having done an hour's travel. So it's the end of day three. We've done 18.7 kilometers in six and a half hours. Started off quite slowly. The weather's been quite nice. It's been uh, very sunny, but very, very cold. This is Conrad, and he's working out where we're going. He's using a compass, and then he uses his stick to guide where we're going. Go! And off he goes. And that's how it's done, guys. It's very dull and overcast, not blowing an awful lot, but it looks like it's going to be a fairly miserable day today. Suffering terribly from breathing problems, mainly because of bronchitis, because the cold air has upset my tubes hugely. So at the end of day nine, uh, nothing really happened today. We just walked for seven hours across the boring landscape as you can see it's been a shitty day all day it's been in a position where we cannot see anything at all it's the end of the second to last day I've got one more day of hard skiing to go about 20 kilometers from a bit the south pole guess where we are we are at the South Pole. Woo. Well, it's way over there, actually. We're going to follow those lines. But we finally arrived. This is the, as the sign says, the geographic South Pole. This is indeed the bottom of the world. All lines of longitude arrive here. And here, all life begins and ends. Um, this is the historic moment. But I've managed to achieve by getting here with my guts missing, my prostate missing, my skin missing and after 11 days, 220 kilometres, I think I can claim to be the world's first 58 year old to have done all of those this trip. Apparently there's only about 24 people that have done the two degrees, about 200 people have walked from the coast into this point but uh, for me to have done this has been an absolutely momentous uh, occasion.